Maybe you've even heard of JPEGs, but have you heard of JPEG XL? I'd kind of be surprised if you had, because the format is being killed before it even really got to live, because Google and Chromium decided, eh, we don't really care about this format, regardless of what anybody else says. So support for this was originally discussed in Chromium back in February of 2021. Now, whenever there's a new format, a new codec, anything like that, you'd expect there to be a bit of discussion about the merits of using this. There wasn't, or at least none of the negative discussion, because everybody seemed to be in support of this. It basically only received praise. Now, obviously, a lot of this praise was from developers, contributors, and the general public. But there was also some feedback from a couple of small indie companies you may or may not have heard of. One of those being Facebook. Just wanted to chime in and mention that us at Facebook are eagerly awaiting full JPEG XL support in Chrome. We are very excited about the potential of JPEG XL and once the coding support is available without the need to use a flag to enable the feature on browser start, we're planning to start experiments serving JPEG XL images to users on desktop web. The benefit of smaller file size and or higher quality can be a great benefit to our users, along with other companies like Adobe. I am writing to the Chrome team to request full support, not behind an opt-in config flag for JPEG XL in Chrome. I am an engineer on the Photoshop, Camera Raw, and Lightroom teams at Adobe, developing algorithms for image processing, along with Intel, and Krita, and The Guardian, which isn't as important as the other ones, and also Cloudinary along with tons of other services from small image hosting websites to e-commerce bike shops, all really excited for the future of JPEG XL. And JPEG XL seemed like it was going to be the standard of image sharing on the internet. That was until someone noticed this merge request. Add a note about upcoming JPEG XL removal in M110. This was a year into it being developed for Chromium, into it being pushed out to the users, into it being integrated into various services online, some of the biggest services available. One of those being Shopify. Shopify automatically supported JPEG XL on their platform. And Adobe, Adobe of all places, was recommending JPEG XL for their HDR output in Camera Raw when you're sharing that content on the internet. This was getting massive adoption from some of the biggest companies out there, and with no feedback whatsoever, said this. Thank you everyone for your comments and feedback regarding JPEG XL. We will be removing the JPEG XL code and flag from Chromium for the following reasons. Experimental flags and code should not remain indefinitely then stop making it experimental and integrate it properly. There is not enough interest from the entire ecosystem to continue experimenting with JPEG XL. Who are you looking for support from and what ecosystem are you looking at when Adobe, Facebook, Intel, Shopify, and all of these other services want to support JPEG XL? The new image format does not bring sufficient incremental benefits over existing formats to warrant enabling it by default. We'll get into those benefits in just a moment. By removing the flag and code in M110, it reduces the maintenance burden and allows us to focus on improving existing formats in Chrome. There is an existing format they're definitely focusing on, but there's not actually that much overhead in supporting it in Chrome because they didn't have their own custom implementation. They were using the reference implementation libjxl. Now this was all the way back in October. At this stage, nothing had actually been merged. So the community did basically all they can do and explain why this doesn't make any sense, show support for JPEG XL, and try to get them to change their mind and bring support for the thing that they already had support for and everybody wants to see them do. And once again, not just from the general public, also support from some of their industry partners as well, 
One of those being Intel. Speaking on behalf of Intel, we support the use of JPEG XL as indicated in my earlier post. We continue to prefer to see JPEG XL enabled by default rather than removed from Chrome. Since our last posting to this thread, tremendous progress has been made with JPEG XL with industry leading image and photo editing solutions now showing JPEG XL adoption for HDR based still images. Critter, the industry leading illustration and drawing app has supported HDR for many years. They added support for JPEG XL in September with version 5.11. Adobe launched a technical preview of HDR and JPEG XL in their October release of Camera Raw 15.0. Serif launched JPEG XL support in their November update of Affinity Photo. With the illustration and photo industry leaders all supporting JPEG XL, it would be a terrible loss of functionality and opportunity for the Chrome browser to walk away from this now. And Critter responded as well. We've spent a lot of time and effort and money too, even though we're pretty cash strapped to make Critter a first class JPEG XL producer and consumer for SDR and HDR still images and animations. We've spent a lot of time with Upstream to get bugs fixed, with Chrome to get bugs fixed, on our code base to get bugs fixed. It has been a huge implementation effort for a very promising image format. And also a response from a scientist over at NVIDIA. I am a scientist at NVIDIA researching image and video compression. I do not speak for my company, but in my personal capacity as a leader in this ecosystem, I strongly disagree with the decision to cut JPEG XL. I'm not sure how you gauge people's interest, but based on the comments from other top people in the compression field in this bug report, you may consider re-evaluating your criteria. Basically saying, I don't know how you got to this solution. And there was even a couple of developers from Google saying, this is a bad idea, why are you doing this? But even though this entire situation is really dumb, I can appreciate one thing. Google and Chromium don't care at all what anyone has to say. They go absolute giga chad with this, no response, whatsoever. There's like 150 comments telling them that doing this is a really bad idea. And then they didn't respond. They just merged it. There was an automatic message about the merger and they didn't say anything after that. Literally nothing was said from the Chromium team. They just broke this feature even though people wanted it. That automated commit log right after everybody said their piece is hilariously poetic. There's your answer, I guess. Three days ago, they just deleted it. Doesn't matter what anyone wants. But what's the big deal? Why does anybody care about this? Well, the start of this thread includes a bunch of the motivations. The improvement in image quality versus image size, about 60% file size savings for the same visual quality. Loss of compression of larger originals when compared to JPEG at the qualities found on the web. Improved visual latency by both smaller download sizes and supporting progressive decoding modes. Progressive decoding is when you can download a smaller, lower quality version of the image so you can show something on the screen. And then as you properly decode it, you can replace that lower quality version with a higher quality version, as opposed to no progressive decoding when you have no image and then when the image loads, now it's suddenly there. Support for HDR, animation and progressive progressive decoding all together in the same image codec. An ecosystem interest in JPEG XL. Several Google teams evaluated JPEG XL for storing and delivering images as well as outside of Google including CDN's interest in storing lossless recompressed JPEGs as JPEG XL and converting to JPEG on request if the browser doesn't support JPEG XL. Now that backwards compatibility is actually really impressive because you can do lossless JPEG recompression, byte exact recreations, and the files are smaller. This isn't something that just magically happens. And the name JPEG XL isn't this weird marketing ploy to make you think it's just a regular JPEG. The reason why it's named like this is it's made by the Joint Photographic Experts Group 
otherwise known as JPEG, the people who make JPEG. And it's not listed here, but unlike regular JPEGs, it also supports an alpha layer, so you can have transparency in this format. And also, it is a completely royalty-free, open standard, and there is a reference implementation that anybody can go and use. This was in place to be the image standard on the web. I don't mean replacing JPEG. I mean replacing JPEG, PNG, WebP, GIF. All of this handled better in this one format. No more dealing with all of this other nonsense. Just JPEG XL. But if it's such a good format, why is it being killed? Well, here's the thing. With the Chromium devs and with Google, basically being radio silent about the removal, we don't have an exact understanding about why they did this. However, we can make a fairly educated guess. So Google for years now has been backing WebP as the standard on the web, and WebP no one cares about. WebP is basically only adopted by Google for like thumbnails, for Google images, for like the little previews you see, and by services that apply arbitrary limits to the amount of data you can send, like Discord for example, they love WebP. As for the rest of the world, not so much. But Google isn't just sitting around not having WebP be adopted, they are also a member of the Alliance for Open Media, an alliance of global media innovators, alongside ARM, Apple, Intel, Meta, Microsoft, and a bunch of other companies. And you may have heard of this group as the developers of AV1. This seems to pretty much be the future of web video. And considering that Google owns YouTube, kind of makes sense that they can push forward a specific video codec. It is a lot harder to do that on the image side, except they do run the browser, and the Alliance for Open Media also has an image format called AVIF. And would you be surprised if I said that Google likes this format? This is the ridiculous position that Chromium is in. It doesn't matter what the rest of the industry has to say. Doesn't matter if all of the leading image and digital photography and all that fun stuff says JPEG XL is what should be the future. Google can just say, we're not going to support it in the browser. And the format is dead. No application support matters. Nothing else matters. If it isn't supported in the browser, you can't easily share it. And it's over. It's just over. Sure, smaller browsers like Firefox and Safari can go ahead and support it, and Chromium forks can do so on their end as well. But if it's not supported in Chrome, it's not supported in base Chromium, it's just not going to happen at a large scale. And that is honestly kind of sad. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you know about JPEG XL? Did you think it was going to have a really bright future? Or are you just finding out about it today? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, send a barrel pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays. That's going to be it for me. And... I'm out.